What's up everybody? My name is Ryan and on Entirely Honest, I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I improve mine. And in this video, I wanted to talk about cheat meals, what they are, why I don't eat them, and what I do instead so I can still have fun while eating healthy. And please keep in mind that I'm not making this video to give advice on what you should do, it's more so just to share my experience and what works for me. So without further ado, let's get started. So what exactly is a cheat meal? A cheat meal is a single meal that is different from our regular way of eating. And it usually involves less healthy foods than what we would normally eat. Some people even have cheat days where they eat nothing but cheat meals for an entire day. Before I get into why I personally choose not to eat cheat meals, I do need to explain a little bit about why and how I started eating healthy. If you want the full story, you can check out this video up here. But essentially, I used to eat a lot of fast and processed foods at almost every meal every day. And a few years ago, I did a complete 180 and switched to eating primarily whole plant foods. And now, I'm quite strict with how I eat. I don't eat any processed sugar or any animal products, and I try my best to avoid processed foods and even oil. And when I explain to people how I eat, a lot of them are shocked about how strict I am with my diet. They find it hard to believe that I don't have any cheat meals or anything of the sort. But I do have my reasons. The first reason why I don't eat cheat meals is that they are not aligned with one of my biggest values. Health. I want to be eating foods that support my physical health, not hinder it. And when I have the option to eat healthy foods, I take that option every time. Because food is fuel, and I want to be providing my body with the best fuel possible so that it can get all the nutrients that it needs to be healthy. Also, our gut microbiomes actually adapt to the foods that we eat. So if we make it a habit to eat cheat meals, the microbes in our gut create a physical craving for those unhealthy foods. On the positive side, however, if we make it a habit to eat healthy foods, the microbes in our gut create a physical craving for those healthy foods. So for me, for example, because I've been eating healthy foods for so long, I now get physical cravings for things like fruits, vegetables, and all the healthy meals that I make. And this actually helps me to continue to eat healthy. Because knowing that I will feel physically sick after an unhealthy cheat meal acts like a natural deterrent and makes them much less appealing. In fact, one of my favorite things about eating healthy is feeling great after each meal. I love being able to go and do whatever I want after I'm finished eating and not have to sit on the couch with stomach pain after crushing a whole medium pizza from Domino's. And I get that some people could say I'm a bit extreme and that eating one cheat meal a week or even a month is not going to make that much of a difference to your overall health. But we have to remember that these unhealthy foods are designed to be extremely addictive. So what starts out as one meal a week can quickly turn into two, three, or even 10. Which brings us to probably the biggest reason why I don't eat cheat meals. Cheat meals can also be harmful to my mental health. See, in order to get myself off the junk food and onto the healthy food, I had to shift my mindset. Because before I made the switch, I had this positivity associated with all my favorite junk foods, like pizza and craft dinner. And I would get excited and experience this positive emotion at the thought of eating them. And on the contrary, I had all this negativity associated with healthier foods like fruits and vegetables, thinking they are tasteless and boring. To be able to start eating healthy, however, I had to reverse that mindset and begin associating positivity with healthy foods and negativity with unhealthy foods. So if I see the cheat meal as a treat, it's an attack on that new mindset because it's associating positivity and excitement with the unhealthy foods in that meal. And that's definitely not what I want. I want to have a negative view towards unhealthy foods, 
because I know that eating them would have a negative impact on my physical and mental health. Besides, with how I eat now, every day feels like a cheat day, and every meal feels like a cheat meal, because the food I'm eating just tastes so great to me. And I never feel like I'm restricted from having a treat. But why would I have an unhealthy treat when I have a variety of healthy ones to choose from? Which brings us to what I do instead of eating cheat meals. Essentially, I try to have the best of both worlds. If I want pizza, I make homemade pizza with healthy ingredients. If I want ice cream, I make my banana mango nice cream recipe that you can check out up here. It's absolutely delicious, by the way. And if I want a burger and fries, I make a black bean burger with sweet potato fries. Because the plant kingdom is so diverse, it feels like there is no craving that I can't satisfy. And because I make all my meals with healthy ingredients, I can feel great during and after my meals. So to bring it all together, I personally don't eat cheat meals because of the short and long-term health consequences. I guess you could say that when I have a cheat meal, the only thing I'm cheating myself out of is my health. And I'm not sure if my mindset around food is psychologically the best view to have, but it has allowed me to eat healthy, delicious food day after day for almost three years now. And I feel great, so I'm going to keep doing it. It just goes to show you that you don't need cheat meals to eat healthy over the long term. If you're interested in healthy eating, then definitely check out my healthy eating playlist right up here and also be sure to check out the first link down in the description below where you can automatically receive my free personal meal plan with 50 plus healthy plant-based oil-free recipes that I myself enjoy on a daily basis. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and let me know your thoughts about cheat meals down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you all. If you're interested in self-improvement, then be sure to check out the other videos that I have on the channel and subscribe. I make new videos about self-improvement every single week. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.